Melina Suriel and we're here with the local live at the Sheldrake Environmental Center. Today we're going to learn the do's and don'ts of handling injured or abandoned animals. Animal Nation is an organization dedicated to saving animals in the Westchester and Fairfield area, both by caring for animals in need and educating people about their neighborhood critters. The Sheldrake Center hosted the lecture as part of their ongoing initiative to add more interactive programming in their facility. We get a lot of calls from the community about wildlife and that's not our expertise. We do environmental education. We thought it would be a good idea to have a program partly for us so that we would know more and also for the community so the community could know how to handle wildlife. 90% of the calls we get, maybe more, are false alarms. And a lot of people, as much as they want to help, they don't understand that um, you know, that, that bird will be okay, or that squirrel will be fine. You just need to let it be. Well, I've been watching it for the last 20 minutes, we get called, and the mom's nowhere in sight. Well, of course, because you're a predator in her mind, and she thinks you're going to eat her. As part of the program, animal rehabilitator Kate Murphy gave out information on all kinds of animals, from bunnies to baby squirrels. Baby bunnies, as many people think, oh, you know, I found these bunnies. You know, this would be a great experience for my kids to learn how to help an animal. Um, and they'll have them usually no more than two days and feed them whatever they read on the internet. Um, and then they start to die. You want to wrap them in a towel and also create either a little nest out of some kind of container. Put them all in there and keep them warm. But warm, dark, and quiet is the most important thing for any baby animal. Um, they lose body heat very quickly. Uh, and also they get stressed. I always tell people if you do come across a snapping turtle that needs to be crossed and they can weigh like 40 pounds, they're often very heavy. Um, the best thing I suggest is pulling out your car mat, sliding the turtle on it, moving the car mat across the road and just letting them off, um, you know, far from the street because um, they can be very, very heavy. Attendees were surprised to hear that some of what they thought they knew about animal rescue was incorrect. Something that I learned that I thought was important was that if you see skunks or raccoons out during the day, it doesn't necessarily mean that there's anything wrong with them and you don't have to really worry. I also always heard the story that you never touch a bird out of its nest because the mom will reject it. And uh, what I learned today is moms don't even have a sense of smell. So they have no idea that somebody else touched their bird. So yes, you should put it back in the nest. Um, so we always tell people, wild animals are wild animals, pet animals are pets. It's never good to keep a, a wild animal as a pet and it's never good to um, release a pet animal into the wild. This is Alina Suriel for The Local Live, signing off.